So for today's video, I'm going to be talking about the quote spring summer 2024 runway fashion show that kicked off the New York fashion week for this season. And oh boy, there's quite a bit to talk about. I'm going to be sharing my good, my bad, and just the downright disappointment. And did you guys see the protester at the show or was it the protesters at the show? <laughs> Hi guys, it's Timmy with Yellow Sparks Joy. Welcome to my channel. On this channel, I like to talk about fashion and lifestyle, especially handbags. So if you like that kind of content, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit the tiny notification bell beside the subscribe button so you can get notified every single time I upload a new video. Like the Kate Spade reaction video that's going to be happening after the Kate Spade uh, fashion show happens, which is today as I'm filming this video. But right now, we're talking about coach. I have my drink, I have my notes. Let's get started. So first of all, I want to talk about the ambience of the venue. I like the ambience, the vibe. It was very on theme to the collection they were showing and the music wasn't bad as well. However, along with that ambience went the was the fact that it was very dim, very dark and moody, which it was, I guess it was supposed to be. If you have, if you take a look at the holistic view of the collection, but that did not create a very nice visual experience for viewers like us that were watching uh, or on TV or through some sort of screen or the other. Not a very nice visual experience at all. I could barely see the bags. I had to go and rewatch the video after and, you know, search the internet for pictures. So yeah, that was really my only grouse with the venue and the mood. Other than that, I think it was pretty, pretty good. And so the first model that comes down the wrong way is wearing what I'm going to call my dress. That's, that's just what we're going to call it. Like it is such a beautiful black slip leather dress. And I'm like, oh, <gasps> So I love slip dresses. I've been meaning to add a slip dress to my collection, but I've really just not been able to pull the plug, maybe because it's satin or silk, or I don't know, maybe just because it looks like um, underwear. Well, that's the whole point behind the slip dress, right? So I just haven't been able to get into it, even though I love it so much. So seeing this leather version by Coach, I'm like, yes, immediately, yes. It's like, that's the one. So. I'm very excited for that dress and it's already on my wish list. I, I can only imagine how much they're going to be selling that when it finally hits the websites and the stores next year. But um, yeah, definitely a, a wish list item. And so with that whole en ensemble, it was all black, uh, paired with boots. And then she had the um, new style bag. I don't know what they're calling the name of that bag, but it's a new style. We haven't seen that before. Although I think it's very similar to the bowling style bags that we saw uh, Dior do, what, two years ago now. Um, I think it has that kind of the same shape. I think it's an interesting shape nonetheless. It's a good size. It looks like a good size to me. We don't know how that is going to translate into production and if there's going to be different um, sizes of that particular style bag, but it came in different colors down the wrong way. Um, I particularly liked the one that was chalk with the kisses all around it. That one I found very pretty. So something that I see that they did again um, is the double bag coming down the wrong way. So the large tote and then the smaller bags. And they've done this before. They did this during the fall um, winter fashion show for 2023. So I'm like, why? Why are you giving us the same thing? Um, the large totes from fall winter is now available for purchase. And my one question is who's buying it? Are you guys buying it? Because so far I've only seen one person who's an influencer who works for coach that has that bag. I, like it's so large and the handles, you can only carry top handle, you can't carry it on your shoulder where are you wearing it to. And it's over a thousand dollars. So they've done the same thing for this fashion show. And it's like, who's going to wear it? Who's going to buy it? So they've paired the larger totes with the shape bags. And again, we've seen the shape bags. They only just released the ones that were at their last runway show, but now we're seeing them in um, slightly different colors, new shapes. So there's a duck and I saw a bow and I'm seeing them in signature embossed leather and in quilted leather as well, which was cute. I would admit, even though I still think that the shape bags are not for me, but that quoted version I think was really pretty. So coming down the runway again, I can see they have the short version of that black uh, slip leather dress. So if you don't like long, they do have short that is going to be available. Hopefully it makes it to production. Now I'm seeing also that they have it in red. I actually have the show on my screen. So I'm looking at that. They also have one in the long version in red. So maybe that one is going to come in a short version as well. So if you don't like black, you have the red option. If you don't like long, you have the short option. Next are the distressed crochet dresses. 
again, who is wearing that? Like, apart from wearing stuff like this to like uh, music festivals or red carpets, who is wearing it? And we've seen it before. Like, St like Stuart, we've seen these pieces before. Okay, like, I don't want to see them again. They had better not appear on the runway for fall winter 2024 because I'm, I'm going to be legit upset. Like, stop. We've seen all the distressed crochet. So all of the clothing that we've seen before that came out on this runway, distressed crochet, the sheer net-like fabric, except that one was done differently, I want to say, because I don't remember them pairing it with leather uh, garments underneath. And that's how I saw it on this runway. They had leather um, tank tops. They had leather crop tops underneath them and then leather um boy shorts if i want to call them that leather underwear in general beneath the um sheer netting which was nice i think it was tastefully done but we have seen them before okay give me something new give me something fresh so essentially the only new thing that you're giving me uh, ready to wear wise that i can see is the slip dress the leather slip dress short and long and then i also noticed quite a bit of suiting which are they trying to tell us that suiting is going to uh, carry on into spring summer of next year because i know suiting is actually very trendy this season so this fall winter but it's more of like a tailored um type suiting but what i'm seeing on coaches runway right now for spring summer next year is um baggy oversized suiting pieces but suiting pieces nonetheless at least that's something a bit new okay so i'm also noticing a lot of boots so i know Coach is a leatherwear brand. They do, I mean, there's lots of leather. There's lots of leather all the time on their own with leather clothes, leather accessories, right? But it's spring summer. So are we wearing, are we wearing these boots just in spring or are we wearing them in summer? So I'd really like to know. Because some of the colors, I mean, fuchsia, red, pink, purple, they're beautiful. Don't get me wrong, but I'm, I'm confused as to when we're wearing them. Let me know. You get if I if I'm not the <laughs> if I'm not such a fashion person, you guys help me out. When are we wearing these boots? And then something that I thought was quite interesting and fun, maybe not my vibe, but that um I can see coming down the runway are the lapel pins. So they had different ones, a spider, they had a Rexy. And perhaps because they paired them, like some clothes have three, some clothes have two on the on the top of the dresses or on the lapels it kind of looks i don't know it just doesn't look nice to me I, to be honest i think it looks tacky i think they look like um things that you kids will find in surprise eggs and then you put them on your clothes or like a, a barrel of monkeys and you take one and put it on your clothes that's what i think it looks like how they have it styled on the clothes perhaps in person they look nicer and more substantial and perhaps if it was just one pin one of such pins on the dresses i would also like it better but yeah i think it's fun it's interesting but not really my vibe and now finally we're seeing the quilted tabby they've taunted us with this tabby for the last couple of days on their instagram page and the other social media pages as well and we can now see it in um on the runway it is also available for purchase on their website so typically when coach has a fashion show they release some of their pieces as a buy now collection so you can buy it immediately straight off the runway um, and then when it comes out in its appropriate season this is there are slight modifications for the, to that particular style most of the time so now it's the tabby with the quilting I don't like this band okay I'm not a tabby fan we all know that I'm not a tabby fan I've never been a tabby fan these ones in particular there's something about the quilting. It's too flat. Like even the quilted Madisons, I know like these tabbies kind of look like a cross between the quilted Madison and a tabby bag, but these quilts on this tabby look flat. They look like, I don't know if they're supposed to look like vintage Chanel or vintage Gucci, but the quilts are very, very flat and I don't like them. Is that why they are still available on the website? Because this is the day after the fashion show that I'm filming this. And they're still available on the website. Typically, when Coach releases their buy now products um, on the day of the fashion show, they sell out instantly. Instantly, they're gone. It happened with the cash-ins. It happened like all of their buy now collection. That's typically what happens because they're limited quantity and people usually love them enough to rush to the website after the fashion show to purchase them. But here we are a day later and they're still available. 
So anyways, if you like them, there's different colors, different variations. There's also some upcrafted um, pieces that they've included in the Buy Now collection on the website. So if you like them, if that's your vibe, I will leave a link to the collection below so you can always go and shop them. I will also leave that link pinged in the comments section. And then finally, down came the protester. <laughs> With the sign, I, it was to, I didn't fully comprehend what was going on when I was watching it for the first time in real time, because there was someone before the person holding up the sign, and the person before that person was wearing like a bodysuit. I think that's what you call them, um, and it just I was like, is that part of the show with that outfit? I'm like, that there's nothing else like that in the show, and it just looked weird but it had coach there front and center and i didn't see what else was on the suits and like and then behind her came the person with the sign who was really like she was walking i'm like okay okay we can see you can walk but are you a protester right away the person with the sign i'm like okay yes that's a protester but the person in front of them i'm like are you part of the show or are you not let me know do you guys think that person was part of the show or was that person also a protester so were they two protesters or were they one i think it was both of them um yeah i think it was both of them. i'm both of them. very eager to see what else new york fashion week holds for us i'm very excited about spring summer um outfits so i can't wait to see all the other designers that are going to come um for new york fashion week thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and i will see you in this one bye